Have we done task one? Yep. Go for it, Kathleen. Right, um, good afternoon. This is a project team and we're talking about um, communication styles and we're just looking at our, our sponsor, Sam, Sam Assad, and um, we're just going to complete some tasks. Um, so now names are on the board. There's Kat, myself, and, and Omar. The first question is um, um, task one. Oh, it's on task one. Task two is identify and discuss and clarify your project sponsor's interests, needs, and behavioural expectations. So we'll um, we'll put dot points on the board. Uh, would you like to go first, Kat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the first one so he'd be a bit of a competitive nature so what sort of what sort of uh, game oh, he, oh I'd say golf and tennis Like yep, and I think he's not the, the, that kind of um, social person, so I don't think he goes out to drink in the pubs or you know, socialize with people. Yep, non social. Maps on the wall and maybe just one photo of his family. Some family portraits, it's a very formal. Um, okay, so he'd have a very structured break times at the office, uh, mm -hmm. so he'd be you know, lunch would be at a certain time. Um, there'd be no extended lunches or anything like that. I reckon his office would be pretty, pretty rigid as well. Um, <laughs> so, um, um, I would also say that um, he's a very analytical type of person. Um, very technical. Yeah. So I would think that um, he's also, and I also heard that he's very um, fond of um, Legos. <laughs> he's like big, he has a big collection of Legos, <laughs> and I would, and he's a member of the Lego local Lego club. Oh, Rockingham. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I think I've got one more. Mm -hmm. uh, We think he's a member of the um, something like the Freemasons, like an old fashioned type of um, club. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. Have we got any more? Yeah, he's got the behavior. Yeah, I think we have to cover his um, behavioral expectations uh, for the people he works with. Yeah, is that task two still? Yeah, we're still on the task too. Behaviour. Expectations. Yeah. I'll do the first one from Sam up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it'll be, um, he wouldn't like gossiping or time wasting. No gossiping. Time wasting. Okay, and then he'd be pretty uh, vigilant with um, staff performance and appearance. Mm -hmm. And I think he also would expect his um, his people or the person he works with. For his staff to be um, 
organized and um, mm. I mean, respectful of time to be yeah. punctual, especially in meetings. Yeah. yeah, or even getting to work on the morning, right? Yep. Starting yeah. at the same time. Yeah, I think we're yeah we're good. We're yeah. good with tasks, do I think? One, two, oh. three. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So we're on um, task. So we're on task three now. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, referring to the case study and relevant inputs, um, we've been negotiating and identifying um, ways and opportunities to engage with Sam, the project sponsor. So. Um, uh, we think that he would like quick, snappy meetings, not like an hour long. So on the morning, he would probably um, demand a 10 minute, 15 minute, like a stand up meeting. Detailed reports with vets and statistics. And he's also the type of person who doesn't like reading long reports or long um, like paragraph forms. So um, it's better to present information in bullet uh, bullet yep. forms, yeah. Yeah. bullet points. Um, you would expect brief, brief emails, uh, offering solutions and not questions, and written in a concise um, format. Um, researching all your information um, beforehand and preparation. Mm -hmm. I've got one more. Yep. I think uh, one good thing about Sam is that he doesn't expect you to be perfect. Um, he, he's open for you to make mistakes. So if you if ever you make one, then I think it's best to report to him um, your mistake as soon as possible, but with um, a list of recommended solutions yeah. to, to remedy the problem right yeah. away. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that wraps up task. Three, I'll just mm -hmm. put up the screen. Thank you. Right. Task four, um, we've been looking at different communication styles and it's um, we've identified that I'm analytical, I have an analytical communication style. Um, what are you? I'm expressive. Um, Kat is analytical. analytical. We'll be looking at ways to communicate with um, with Sam, um, knowing that we're all different. Um, yeah, Sam is a driver um, and probably analytical as well. Um, so, um, is it driver or direct? Driver, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so the analytical, Kat and myself, we, um, we have similar Styles as far as the analytical side, but um, not with the driver. So um, we'll write up ways of 
communicating. So would you like to do the first one? Uh, for, for analytical and driver? Yeah. Um, but I think um, in terms of um, interest and personality, they are um, very, very similar. They're, they're, I mean, you guys are very similar with Sam, mm -hmm. yeah. the driver. Yeah. Um, so maybe you can just capture, I mean, there's not much difference in terms of um, communica mm -hmm. communicating or, and yeah. um, communication and personality. Yeah. yeah. So shall we just write them? We'll um, yeah, we'll just do expressive. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So would you like to go first? Yeah, so in terms of, um, well, expressive, as you can see, I talk a lot. I talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think one way of um, dealing with Sam, in, in my case, as, 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 as an expressive one, is to um, you know shorten our cut back on my t long talks. Yep. So that yep. would be very helpful yep, be in helpful. dealing with yep. him. Way to get a, a deal with it. Uh -huh. can, can you guys um, just what about it? <laughs> <laughs> help me more. Um, so, give, give yeah. some more tips. Yeah, and... talk less, straight to the point. Yeah. Cut back on talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't ask personal questions. Okay, maybe you can write yeah. that also. And so an expressor likes to ask a lot of questions, so uh, maybe do her, do your own research and uh, find answers um, before approaching Sam. I've got one more, but mm -hmm. short in communication, keep precise bullet points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, yep, no, actually it's Sam. Do you want to write that off? Sam, do you have yeah. the expressor? I think it's, um, or maybe we can just uh, say, uh, keep reports or emails short yeah. and concise, right? Yeah. yeah. Any more you want to um, document? Mm -hmm. That's it for me. Yeah. I mean, the expressor just, yeah, uh, they like the fluff and the <laughs> <laughs> and the driver doesn't like fluff. So yeah, just stick to the important stuff. Stick to the important stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, is that all? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. That's the end of the session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now take pictures. Oh. Now I can. Uh, I'll send you the. Play back.